Hello world, what's going on? Happy Sunday. What a day it is. Um, I just, Ray went late on his live, so I'm kind of excited because I got to be there while it was live. I like that. And I wanted to, um, I, I'm super impressed with it. As a matter of fact, I'm going to watch it again today, maybe a couple of times. I think it's probably one of the best trainings that he's done inside the Rank Makers. So I could not help it, but um, make sure that I, let me just, I'm just inviting some folks. It's hard on the computer. Some, some ginger says it telly would be nice. I'm going to come. I don't know who else is. I know Rebecca. All right. That's all I'm going to invite for now. Hopefully everyone's seeing this. He can hop on. If not, you're going to watch it later. Whatever. So um, Ray's training today was so profound. I'm definitely, like I said, I'm going to watch it more than once because I think it's just brilliant. Um, and I can't wait to actually do this exercise. So it's a big exercise. It's um, one of those deep things that we do to help us move forward in our life. It's one of those deep things. So. This is an idea that he actually had done himself, accidentally did not know that, you know, it was some sort of psychological thing um, that actually works in therapeutic situations. So he's reading a book, and the book is about how this um, certain triggers were used to help crack addicts stop being crack addicts or help them overcome their addiction and manage what, you know, their life. And he was like, holy moly, I did this back in the day. And. This is a really good idea to share with you guys. And so I'm thinking it's a really good idea to share with you guys as well. Because let me tell you something. I think that if you sit down and you do this exercise, and it's one of those darker things, it might be a little bit difficult the first time. Um, it, it might be a little difficult. Maybe it won't be. Maybe it'll be cake for you. Um, and it's basically using the if, when, and then and being aware of what's going on. So say, for instance, if I'm feeling miserable, or if I'm feeling sorry for myself and I want to um, go do something or I want to cry about it or I want to feel, I want to wallow in self-pity or I want to turn on Netflix or I want to, you know, drink a box of, you know, wine or whatever, or I want to go eat a cheeseburger, whatever it is that you say if, and then you describe the situation and you give the negative outcome that could happen. Okay. Your negative response that could happen. And then you say, I will instead. So if I'm wallowing in self-pity or if I'm feeling sorry for myself and I want to wallow in my self-pity, I will prospect instead. Um, and there's so many different ones that you could use. And there's probably, there's probably three or four key places that you find yourself constantly coming back to with something and you end up doing the undesired response to the situation. and you might want to um, start taking a good hard look at those things and start using this on you. Now, it's identify the situation, um, identify the, the normal response or the undesired, the, the not desired response, and then identify your desired response to it. And you start pre, pre-engineering outcomes and you will start to change your life. And I really, I'm like freaked out about it because I can't wait to sit down. I know there's a few that are really prominent, especially like right now, <laughs> like right now, there's one that's really prominent in my mind. So, you know, instead of, you know, so, sometimes you you get to a place or you, or you start to feel about something or whatever, and you, you just, instead of doing the right thing for, for you and for your growth, you fall back into an old habit or you, you do the undesired response, the one that, you know, that you're like, ah, I wish I would have thought about that. Um, you can start pre-engineering your responses to um, start giving you a trigger that you can go straight to when, when those things happen. So one thing, you know, I get frustrated just like everybody else here. I get nervous. I get scared. I have some days I have bad days, you know, and some days I'm, I'm, most days I do really well. And thank God that I've been putting um, a lot of effort into my personal development. However, I am nowhere near perfect. I have a lot of strange issues that I don't even know what they are. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes I get feeling sorry for myself and I get feeling like I'm the only thing in the world. And that's that, you know, how all those things that, that we get upset about 
it usually boils down to, are you, you feeling lonely? You know what I'm saying? So when I, I can totally use this to help me recognize it when I start feeling that way and start doing an action, replace the, the de- undesired response with a desired action, like prospecting, or I will take three deep breaths and think of something I'm grateful for. Or, I mean, it could be any way. You could apply this in any way. And everyone here is in some sort of business or another. They either, either you know, you you're a craftsman and you make your own products and you sell them on SD, or, or you're a farmer, or you're in network marketing, or you're in coaching, or you're an affiliate marketer. All of all of those things need prospecting. So you could always use product. That's a great fallback. Not only will it help you um, start changing your habits and start helping you step into um, a, a lifestyle and a peace of mind that you prefer it'll actually you know help you grow your business at the same time which is awesome sauce right Uh, but you could use other things too and you could start slow because i think this exercise will you know a few of you might find it challenging i know i might I, i know i have like three different things that i would like to sit down and really write a new response to it so that i can remind myself you know, not to go to that, not not to go to that, you know, that way. He used another example. If I'm traveling, I tend to eat bad food, you know, like when he normally doesn't. You know, if you've known Ray for a while, Ray's lost a lot of weight, and it's not because he was eating McDonald's. So he said, when I travel, I eat really bad. So he could say something, or you could, because I do too. When I'm on the road, it don't, I don't care. I'll eat whatever it is. Um, if I'm traveling and I get hungry, instead of going through the drive through at McDonald's, I will stop at Applebee's and have a salad. Or if I'm traveling and I go to and I go to the gas station and I'm feeling a little hungry, instead of picking up cheese toes, I'll grab a bottle of water. So I think those those little kind of things like that if you can identify three things in your life right now that you would like to start creating new responses for i encourage you to sit down and do that today at some point and if you're in rank makers go watch his video watch it a couple of times because he does explain it really really well and you i'm sure you'll get that feeling like whoa this is freaking awesome because i know that each one of us are looking to advance our lives in some way or another we're we're here because we want to reset our mind and this kind of thing and it's funny because the book he's reading, it's a psychology that they use to help people quit smoking crack. That's not easy to stop doing. Okay, so I'm really excited about this. I'm looking to apply it in my life in several different areas. I'm going to find three key things that I notice that I fall into. Self-pity, uh, drinking too much, um, being mean. I can get mean real quick and there's no reason for it. It's because I'm feeling sad or whatever. Maybe when, you know, I could say something like when, if I'm feeling angry, instead of lashing out, I can take notice and try to, I can take notice that I'm angry and pinpoint the why. So this way I can start working through some of the issues that I have that just bubble up from time to time. And I just, they're just not on the surface. I just don't see them. So there's a definitely a lot of different ways that we can go about this, and I encourage you guys to do it too. And if you're in Rank Makers, go watch his because he always teaches really well, and I think that it, I can't wait to watch it a couple of times. Um, if you're not, that's okay. You're here. You've heard it from this. I want you to think about it from your own terms, um, and I even encourage you to shoot a video yourself, teaching it to your people, teaching it to your team, teaching it to your friends on your Facebook. You know, you can shoot a live and talk about this because I think it's uh, powerful when you – when you teach what you've just learned, you learn it even more. It's like it's a it's an old study hack I used in college. I didn't have to study. As soon as I got home from school, I picked up the phone because that's how we did it then. We didn't even have cell phones. And I called either, you know, one of my best friends or I'd sit down with my mother and I would teach them everything I learned in school that day. I, you know. I crushed it in college. I had it was just amazing how I was able to retain that, and I learned that from a psychology teacher in Psych 101, how to do that. So this is one of those things that you can do, and this is one of those things that you can learn and apply for yourself, and even have a greater impact if you share it with others. So 
This is a private group. You can't share this video, but you can either invite your friends or you can go ahead and create content just like this for your people. Just, you know, always let people know, hey, Tara taught me this, what she learned from Ray, or I'm in Rank Makers and uh, this is my take. You know, always give credit and uh, add your twist because your twist is important. People need to see it from your perspective. And I love you guys very much. And I will see you on the other side. Peace.